Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Immuno Project. We here at the Immuno Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, guidance, uh, advice, and um, I spoke about the, uh, the encouraging uh, prophecies uh, contained in Isaiah chapter 60. And there's a, an imagery in uh, chapter 60, verse 8, that I want to comment on. It talks about, like a cloud, they, the Jewish people, like a cloud they flew away, but like doves to the dovecotes, they will return. In other words, you went away like a cloud and you come back like a pigeon. What's, what's Isaiah talking about here? What are we learning here? Uh, it was uh, Harav Mendel Hirsch um, who explained for me the difference between clouds and doves. When a cloud disappears, it goes off into the distance and it, it disappears forever. The cloud never comes back. That cloud is gone. It dissipates. Um, doves, pigeons, they may go away very, very far. But regardless of the, the distance, the dove, the pigeon, will find its way home. Um, when the diaspora happened, especially the, the diaspora of the, uh, for the destructions of the temples. Let's say the one we're in right now, the Gaulist one right now. Uh, the, going on 2,000 years since the uh, temple, the Bezamigdash, was destroyed since the Corban. And I'm sure it looked like um, for a, quite a while that cloud went away and it was never coming back. But guess what? Like the dove returns to the dove coats, the Jewish people have never fully disappeared like the cloud. A dove, unlike the cloud, always may, remains distinct in the sky. You can always, it doesn't fade away. You know, it's always very clear. The Jewish people, regardless of uh, the attempts of, uh, of other cultures, other peoples, never fully disappeared, always remained distinct. And it will find its way back. It has found its way back to a certain extent. Israel was rebuilt. The Jewish people, there's a great sense of tshuva uh, and awareness. People are returning to an observant life. Just the beginning. It's happening. Uh, greater numbers will come. And as uh, the prophecies predict, uh, there will be the return of the Jewish people uh, uh, to Israel. And... Um, Despite our attempts, well, the attempts of some of us is to blend into the scenery, it never really works. Those who remain distinct, those who are unwilling or unable to blend in, um, we remain distinct. And we, like the dove, never disappear. We'll come back, regardless of how far, regardless of how long. Um, 2,000 years is a long time. It is a blink of an eye in the mind of uh, the Creator. But um, we're coming back. We never really went away. Uh, we're coming back, and we're coming back in the strong and with great numbers. Um, the movement for tshuva in the Jewish people is growing. The movement toward observance uh, is growing. 50 years ago, 60, 70 years ago, it, uh, it appeared that uh, Frumkite, the, the Orthodox world, was uh, ready to disappear and that it was uh, newer movements that would take over. We see now that it is some of the newer movements that are in trouble and it is Orthodoxy and an observant, Torah observant uh, lifestyle that is growing and growing in leaps and bounds. Um, may this soon herald the first echoes of the footfalls of Mashiach. And may it happen soon and in our time. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them inspiring. And until next, and until next time, uh, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and as always, thank you so much.